let's talk about saving our work in Frames 5. Now, I love using Frames 5 for making movies and for making still images, too, with the vector graphics interface. But if I go over here and I press the Save button, it's going to save it as an F5D file. Now, that's great if I want to go back and edit it, which I often do. But if I want to give my picture or my movie to somebody else to see, if they don't have a copy of Frames 5, there's nothing they can do with an F5D file. I need to export it as something they can use. And here's how you can do that. If you go right next to the Save button, there's a button that says Project. You click on that, and you'll see a lot of the usual stuff that you would see if you clicked on like the File button, where you got New, Open, etc. Export is what you'd want. Now, if you're exporting a movie, it's got sound, it's got moving images, you know, whole, all that, then click Podcast, Web, or Movie. I recommend Web. It gets you a decent amount of compression, decent file size. The movie is large enough that it looks okay on most screens. Web will be just fine for most things, so pick that if you have a movie. Now, if it's a silent movie where the action taking place is getting repeated over and over again. An example would be like if you've seen the movie that I made of myself where I'm spinning around in a chair. I could take just those images of me spinning around in a full circle, export them as a GIF file, and I would just be spinning for all eternity. You know what? You could click GIF for that. For any other still image, you would have to click on image, well, images right here. Click on that. And you get a pop-up like this, and it asks you what you want to name it. And right now you see how it says .jpg, that's the suffix. Down here I can pick between JPG and PNG. Nine times out of ten, however, you're probably going to want a PNG file. I could go into all the reasons why I think PNG is better. That's grounds for a whole other movie. In this case, Unless you have a grading rubric that tells you otherwise, or a website that says it won't accept PNG files, I know that I don't think there's a lot of them out there, but there's still a few that are, then pick PNG over JPG. And you notice when I clicked on that, the suffix up here changed. Now it says .png. It changed it automatically. Don't go and delete that. Uh, don't go and change it manually. Let your selection down here change the suffix. And you can change everything before the period to anything you want to change it to. That would be fine. And once you're done, you hit save, and there you go. Now, Frames likes to take images that you export and save them in a folder. It'll name the folder the same thing as your main project oftentimes. Um, so just keep that in mind that you might not see an image in the directory that you selected. You might see a folder in that directory. You have to look in that folder. All right, if you have any questions, feel free to ask.